Hello, my name's Mike and you're watching one of a series of videos designed for the beginner guitarist. If you follow this series, you'll learn the, the names of the strings, you'll learn uh, enough notes on the first position of the guitar to enable you to play some easy tunes, and you'll learn how to count and develop a good sense of rhythm, and all this will give you a strong foundation for becoming a good musician in the future. Hi folks, Mike again. So at this at this stage, we should now be thinking that we're comfortable with the to sit with it with the instrument. Um, we're comfortable with the, how to hold the um, the pick or the plectrum. We know the names of the strings. Uh, we can play simple simple rhythms on the uh, on the open strings. so on and we also know the makeup of the guitar the, the head the neck and the body and um, the frets the fret the fret wires we know the c notes on the first fret of the b string um, so today we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna add a note to that we're gonna play um uh, an a note on the second fret of the g string uh, in the previous lesson, we, we learned the C notes on the first fret of the B, but we use the first finger or the index finger for the for this this note. We're going to use the the big finger or the middle finger. Okay. Same approach. Left hand under uh, comes under the uh, under the neck. Thumb behind the uh, second fret, point to the ceiling. Keep your first finger, your middle finger, sorry, in between the first fret wire and the second fret wire. As I said before. Don't put it on the fret wires. Don't put it too far away from the fret wire that you're pushing the string against. So if you look again, my finger is fairly close to the fret wire, the second fret wire that it's pushing down, pushing the string down on. It's the most efficient way to get a clear note. As I said last time, if it's too far back in the fret, But I'm not, notice I'm not on the fret. I'm just behind there. Okay, so as we did last time, I'm gonna play a tune and you're gonna play the uh, the notes to go with it. Okay, so give me an A, you ready? Um, pluck on top of the G string, which we've changed into an A. We've changed the pitch of the G into an A. We've made it slightly higher. You ready? One, two, A, go. And A, go finger off G remember just to lift the finger off slightly so it's hovering just above you ready one two G go G go drop the finger back on a go a go and a go and a go finger off G G go back to a go a go and G go G, go, and A, go. Okay, so I'm gonna play that tune again that I played last time in The Drunken Sailor, and you're gonna, you're gonna uh, accompany me with the A and G pitches, A and G notes. You ready? Finger on for that. One, two, A, go. Finger off, G. G, go. Back on A, go. A, go. And G, go. And A go, and A go, A go, and G go, G go, back to A go, A go, and G go, back to A go. Okay, uh, so hopefully you found that really easy. So far we haven't really mentioned um, much about um, harmony. Or chords. Um, a chord on a guitar or on any instrument is just um, a way of describing what happens if you play two or more notes at the same time. So if I play the, the B and the E string together, I get a chord. Uh, I can play three, three, three notes together, that's a chord. I can play four notes, that's a chord. 
I can play five notes, that's a chord. I can play six notes, that's a chord. Uh, so a chord just describes two notes, two or more notes ringing at, together at the same time. Um, two or more notes ringing together at the same time is what we call harmony in music. Um, so we can take that even further. We can we can describe um, what 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 goes on, what, how how music puts together. We, I, at the top we've got the the melody or the tune, um, and to make the tune sound interesting, we harmonise it with 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 extra notes with chords, um, and all that is done in time in a, in a set rhythm which which is more or less all you need to play music you need notes being played in time you also need to be able to hear it which sounds it sounds ridiculous but but it's true with no sound there's no music so what we could actually do is if 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 you okay if you've struggled with with the, with the a note and the c note um you need to practice those, okay. If if that felt comfortable, there's one more thing we can try. Um, so take the left hand again, put it behind, put the thumb behind the first fret. The thumb should be pointing to the ceiling, uh, not poking over the top of the neck like this. Uh, drop your first finger onto the first fret of the B string in between the white note and the first fret wire. Middle finger onto the second fret of the G string between the first fret fret wire and the second fret wire. Make sure the fingers aren't touching the frets. Um, and we can play the two strings together like this. And we've got a nice harmony. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to play the tune for the drunken sailor. And this time all I'll say is fingers on or fingers off. You ready? One, two, fingers on, go. On, go. Fingers off, go. Again, notice how the fingers are just lifted off so I can just drop them back on easily. On, go. And off, go. Off, go. You ready? On, go. On, go. And off, go. Off, go. And on, go. On, go. And off, go. And on, go. And on, go. And on, go. So hopefully that was that was fairly comfortable. So uh, we're beginning to get to grips with with actually physically engaging with the instrument now, um, and hopefully it's a comfortable thing. So uh, we'll leave it there for the day, and I'll see you next.